Hey, Bama Nation, Dixie Jean here, getting ready for Bad Beat 12, coming March 28th at Commerce Casino. Right now, I'm sitting with Steve Cazzola, getting ready to take on Tommy Gavin for Bad Beat 12. How are you doing today, Steve? I'm uh, fantastic. Thanks for having me. Now, some people may not know this, but you actually took this fight with eight days' notice. What was your big incentive to want to take this fight? Well, Bama is a great promotion. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about them how professional they are, how uh, great of a stage they're on. And when an opportunity like that in the sport is thrown at you, um, you got to jump at it. And I, I couldn't say no. So it, it was an amazing opportunity. I'm very thankful for it. I'm glad that they contacted me. Getting ready for this fight, you and Tommy alike were both proposed to another fighter. That fighter did not accept the fights. So you ended up fighting each other. Now, so it's, first it was supposed to be one person, now it's another. Yeah. You know, what do you know about Tommy Gavin, and what do you think you have going into this as an advantage? Um, what I know about Tommy is, you know, just the basic stuff that you know, when you research a, 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 an opponent, you know, you try to find out as much as you can about him, about his record, his, you know, his stylistically. Um, I think it's a, an awesome opportunity for both of us. Um, I think that I'm bringing, uh, you know, a great variety. I'm going to, you know, Put a lot of good pressure and uh, come out and ready to fight. And I know he will too. You know he's a he's a great uh, scrapper, he, and he always comes to fight. He comes to bring it. So it's going to be a great show, and I'm glad we get to start this card off right. For the fans. And you're training down at the compound in San Diego with uh, Sean. How is it? You know, training down there, fighting in LA. Like, how is your commute like for you, and all the things you do? Um, it's it's actually really nice. Um, not only do I train at the compound, but I'm also the uh, head strength and conditioning coach. So um, I get to spend a lot of time there, um, training, working with the guys, developing a great relationship with everyone. Um, there's nowhere I lo uh, love being more than in the gym. And living in Southern California is phenomenal. I love living in San Diego. Um, I'm originally from Chicago, so you cannot beat this weather. Uh, it's fantastic being able to uh, open you know open up those doors, have the uh, sun. Um, uh, sun shining bright on you and get some good training in with some great people and you know Sean Walford is a great coach with a great experience uh, brings a lot to the table as a coach and we have a great team of coaches it's not just Sean but John Schultz uh, John Rizzo uh, Eddie Escobar uh, great guys now you say that you're originally from Chicago did MMA bring you out to California or did you start MMA back in Chicago um, I started MMA back in Chicago. Um, I picked it up after I decided to not uh, no longer pursue uh, football. I played collegiate football for one year and uh, transferred to Northern Illinois University where I met um, my first coach, uh, Sean Jackson. Um, we kicked off right away, started training MMA, and he got a great uh, opportunity and a job to work in San Diego and invited uh, a lot of actually my team out here to uh, start uh, a life, and I couldn't, we couldn't say no. And right off the bat, I found uh, Loeffler, started training, and started working, and I've been having a blast uh, ever since. Now, is the majority of your family still back in Chicago, or do you have family out here? The only family I have in California, I have an uncle that lives up in San Francisco, which is quite a distance, so I don't see him on a regular basis. Um, everybody else is back in Illinois. Now, knowing that your family is kind of spread out, especially out of state, uh, knowing that this fight is actually going to be on pay-per-view, is a little bit more of an incentive knowing that they could actually watch you still, even though they're not in the same state. That's a great. Uh, that's that's a great thing. I love that the fact that they can possibly watch it. I hope that they do. It's really exciting because unfortunately not able to make it, especially on such short notice. So having them be able to see that is uh, absolutely great. I know there's a lot of family members and uh, friends from back at home who are really excited and really pumped for this. Uh, can't wait. Now, your, your pro win is a submission win by guillotine. Uh, you know, going back to that, what do you think you took from that fight that you're going to bring into the cage this time? What I take from that fight is overcoming adversity. My opponent was able to uh, you know, and do what he wanted to do in that fight to, uh, to start. I uh, just kept calm, kept my composure, uh, kept my head together, and was able to uh, find a way to win. And that's very important to me is just find a way to win and uh, finish the fight. Don't let it go to the judges. And that has that affected the way you've been training ever since? Absolutely. It's after every uh, fight, you always go back to the drawing board and you ask yourself, what did I do right? What do I need to work on? And we go back to the drawing board, we put 
a better training camp together. We're always looking to improve, always looking to evolve. And I think I definitely did that for this, and uh, it's ready to go. Now, getting ready for this, you actually have a teammate. Uh, Misha's also on the card. What does it feel to have a fellow teammate working on the it's, same card with you? It's awesome. We've known that Misha was going to be on this card for quite some time now, and she's a beast, and she's got a great opportunity. And she was really happy to hear that she's not the only one fight on the card now. So I'm, I'm glad I get to share this experience with her. It's going to be something I know we'll talk about, and uh, it's going to be great. All right. Well, any shout-outs you want to give to your teammates, uh, training partners, family? Yeah. Yes, thank you so much uh, to the Compound MMA for everything that they've done for me. Sean Loeffler, John Schultz, Eddie Escobar, John Rizzo, all my coaches, my family back at home. I really, really miss you guys, and uh, I'm going to get this for you for sure. All right, Steve. What? One last question before we – in the interview, I was just wondering, you know, it is less than a week out. What is your main focus for these last remaining days? Staying calm, being relaxed, staying sharp, putting a good game plan together for Tommy, making sure that my head's on right, staying relaxed, and enjoying the process. With your pro win, the submission win before, obviously you know what you're doing in that area, but do know that one of our sponsors, Be First Clothing, is actually promoting a bonus for knockout and submission of the night. Uh, it's extra cash in your pockets, but I mean, what does that mean to you? It's great. I'm always looking to finish. I'm looking any way I can. Submission, knockout, doesn't matter. Gonna go in there, uh, throw up bad intentions, do my thing. And it, I, I really appreciate them putting out money for that, especially when you're, uh, you know, finding these promotions. Um, any extra incentive is always great, and I think it's wonderful that they're giving these opp uh, the opportunity for fighters to earn that extra cash. It, Definitely puts a little fire, you know, fire in your heart, and you're like, let's go get this done. Well, you're talking about how you're the strength and conditioning coach. You have a, a female fight coming out from the same gym. I mean, what's the vibe around the compound knowing that one of the training coaches and one of their great girl fighters, Misha, is going to be on this card? They're so excited. They, everyone absolutely loves it. There's so much buzz going around with Misha. She's very popular. She's a, a Marine. She hel uh, she's a great individual. And, uh, and obviously I have a great connection with not only uh, the other fighters, but all the members too. So they all know me and I all have a relationship with them. So when everybody heard that not just Misha was fighting, that I got this opportunity as well. Everybody's eyes got big and like, oh my God, I'm like, I, I know it's going to be great and couldn't be more excited. And, you know, I hope everybody's able to come and watch it some way. Well, yeah, yeah. being the strength and conditioning coach... <laughs> You think uh, they're going to give you a hard time? <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, you know, um, since they know you, they you get some certain expectations. Um, you know, you get a little bit of a reputation, but I, I don't worry about that. You know, um, there's there's Steve the coach and there's Steve the fighter, and when it's time to be Steve the fighter, I I got focused on what I need to do and uh, my routine. Coaching is something I love to do. I've been doing it for a very long time. It's my passion, but also my friend is my passion too. So. I'm just focused on being Steve, the MMA fighter right now, and doing what I need to do to get a victory. Well, we look forward to seeing you, Steve. Stay healthy in the meantime. We look forward to seeing you come weigh-ins, and then we're looking forward to a great battle with you and uh, Tommy Gavin. You guys are both hungry for this fight, so we think it's going to be a really good one. It, it is. Stay tuned. You're not, not going to want to miss this. Okay.